Good morning, good evening, good afternoon everyone. Thank you for tuning in to my channel Tarot Dreams 88. I appreciate having you here. This is going to be your monthly general reading for your zodiac sign. I will be covering a portion with the love reading within the general reading as well. But I'm going to extend the love reading to my ribbon events with a link in the description box below. We're going to go in depth about your person, how are they feeling, who are coming towards you, what is going on in their life. Um, I'm really looking forward to the month of November. It is Scorpio month and there's going to be a lot of positive changes coming our way. The negative energy is also clearing out. But the thing is now a lot of transformative things might happen in the month of November. And that is why I feel I'm here to basically guide you and assist you. I would recommend that you check out your Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs to get more of a clear indication towards what might happen in the month of November for you or your zodiac sign. How you can maybe work with it. And I'm going to try to guide you through the month of November. So yeah guys, thank you for being here. Thank you for tuning in. Let's begin with your monthly reading. Hi Aries, I trust you are well and that you will have an amazing month of November. This is going to be your general reading. Um, it is basically going to go about love, career, finance. What do you need to know? What do you need to look out for? I'm going to start with your health card. Um, with Archangel Raphael's health card. Let's quickly see what does Aries need to know. It says you need a massage. I'm going to read this for you. Dear Archangel Raphael, please help me know that I deserve to receive massages and other self-care treatments. So, the month of November is going to mean a lot for you regarding self-care, self-love. And the thing is, I do feel that you guys have been having a lot of difficult, unnecessary difficult times. Um, and yeah... Let's really see. Your spirit animal of the month is the eagle. Seize opportunities courageously. Seize opportunities courageously. Um, I do remember in the month of October, it came out that you guys need to step into your power. That was the message that the month of October was for you. So let's quickly see regarding your crystal or gemstone. What does Aries need to know? Malachite, nature, heart chakra. And again, it comes back towards self-care, self-love and your heart chakra. Possibly need to, you need to look into that. Um, it is very important for you to be able to share yourself, share the love that you've got within you as person with other people. Um, I know you guys have had a tough time. Yeah. Opening to love. It's asking you in the month of November to open yourself up to love. My heart is open. Um. It is important because you guys have been through the ringer. You guys have had a tough year so far. And it is important to be open to love. To open yourself, mind, body, spirit. Let's quickly see what is the unicorns. You've got curiosity. Start a project related to something you're curious about. I'm going to put that over there. Let's put it there. Mother shine. And I'm going to put that over there. Okay. Let's see what else do you guys need to know. 
for the month of okay you've got freedom i'm going to read this for you and you've got purpose freedom i possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness you possess the power to create your own happiness purpose i know what i'm here to do and i think you're going to be receiving these messages um from the 4th of november i do believe there's a new moon on the 4th of november i'm not sure double sure but i do believe so um let's really see what is your star seed um oracle what do you need to know for aries Okay, let's quickly cut the deck. Most important messages for Aries. Transformation. Things are changing, changing at cellular level. Deep healing. As I said in the intro video, a lot of things are going to change in the month of November. For a lot of star signs, zodiac signs. And the thing is, I feel much more positive energy is going to come in um, for all of us in the month of November, Scorpio's month. What do you need to know regarding your career? And then we'll go to the tarot. Okay. Okay, you've got three. You've got Charles Ponzi regarding career. I'm going to read this for you. You've got Calvin Klein. And you've got Kim Kardashian West. I'm going to read this for you as well. Act like the camera's always rolling. Hold a mirror up to society and play with the filters. No topic is off limits. <laughs> Okay, let's put it over here. Take risks and have a press statement ready. Find real meaning in the indie window. Outrage into art form. Charles Ponzi. Keep your conviction even when facing multiple. Got rich quick? Leave town quicker. Don't get buried, buried in the pyramid of your built. Okay, <laughs> that's funny. Okay, let's quickly see most important messages for Aries with the Lenormand. This is one of my decks I created. You have got the Tower. You have got the Bouquet. And let's see, this is going to be your general energy for the month. Okay, so we're done with that. Okay, so regarding the tower, you are either building towards something new or you are isolating you, yourself. With the baguette, baguette I hope I'm saying it right, surprises and appreciation. I feel that this the Norman cards has got to do with opening up your heart. Self love. Seizing opportunities. Building anew. Building from start. Building from scratch. Um, possibly if you had a lot of unnecessary things in the past that caused sadness and hurt. This is giving you the opportunity or maybe um the feeling of you are ready to build a new start a new and this is where your transformation comes in because the thing is aries you get to know your purpose in the month of november and this is where you are gathering your freedom for the first time 
and I feel you've been closed up, you know, if this is regarding isolation, you've been closed up a lot. Over the time period, over the years, you've been possibly in relationships that didn't have really a purpose for you, um, and it caused a lot of sadness and hurt. And that is why it's saying to you, opening, opening your, open yourself up to love. Now, what I want to do next is, I want to pull you another oracle card. Um, this is where you are currently on your journey of life. Your life path, your soul path. Yeah, hearing messages from spirit and I'm going to read this for you as well. I am a clear channel for messages from spirit and the thing is, I do believe with this card and the curiosity that you're possibly going to have in the month of November. A lot of you are going to start listening to yourself more. You are possibly going to opening up yourself more to your guided messages from your guides, from your angels um, and everyone that is basically going to be, you know, listening to you and assisting you going forward regarding the career i mean it is telling you to take chances in some areas within your career life take risks press forward move forward but for a lot of you that are you know that is spiritual are basically going to and i believe it will be after the 4th of november you will get more information more guided messages towards you towards your life purpose and what is required of you on your life journey or your soul path. Let's quickly see most important messages. This is one of my decks I created, the Dream Keeper. Most important messages. Oh, wow. So it is indicating that you might experience unexpected income from a work situation. You might have unexpected income. Possibly you've been waiting for this. And I mean, you have possibly been, ta been taking risks, but you might receive unexpected income in the month of November towards your occupation. And this is really a positive message for everyone out there. So you're basically saying opening up your, opening up your heart, opening up to love. Transformation is going to happen. Treat yourself for a massage. Self-love. Um, you do have a purpose. Open up yourself for guided messages. Have the curiosity. Malachite, it's telling you to opening up your heart chakra. It's very, very important. Build a new. And this is surprises with um, the baguette card. Surprises, appreciation. Appreciation, it might mean appreciation regarding this unexpected income that is coming your way. Now, let's quickly see. I'm just going to put the messages a bit down. And then we'll see with the tarot, what do we need to know for Aries. Coming in the month of November. I'm going to put that over there and I'm going to put that over there. Okay, and you've got curiosity, and you've got messages. I don't know why I, I draw you two, but anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, there's a reason why I had to draw you two of those cards. So let's quickly see with the tarot. Most important messages for Aries. Most important messages for Aries. Most important messages for Aries. You've got the Ten of Cups, Aries. And this is stability. And this is basically going regarding the building a new. Um, building a new, starting a new on your life path you've already been like i said been through the ringer you've been through a lot in your life 
and it's time to settle down now and it's time to get quiet and just starting to feel yeah i feel this is your recent past you've had a lot of sadness and loss in your work in your love life in your family life in your friendships but this is what you're going to go towards because you've got the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Cups. Um, basically stating to you, it's, it's ending of a cycle, it's completion. And like I said, with the month of November, um, it's going to be very transformative. You see, they are your card, the Emperor card. I'm going to quickly shuffle the tarot. So you've got two tens. Two tens, yeah, ending of an old relationship cycle, starting something new. Ending of an old work cycle, starting something new. Ending of a friendship cycle, starting something new. Okay, so regarding the tarot, yeah, you've been stuck. I mean, you've got now two tens with two different tarots you've got two tens two ten of cups this is you with the eight of swords being up in your head overthinking to things too much with ten of swords grieving possibly having feeling of loss and sadness regarding a past situation it might have been um a divorce a love connection that has caused you to feel like this but i do feel as the month of november is going to progress you are going to be happy, feeling like this. Happy, happy times. Happy home, happy family, happy cat, happy dog, stability. Possibly long-term planning. Yeah, you see, this is your recent past. Uh, mental anguish, mental heartache, mental unsurety. With the Three of Swords. It, you might have been part of a um, three-party situation regarding a love connection. You've got another thing. We've got three tens now. Four tens on the on the floor. So you are coming out of this, carrying the world on your shoulders. You've had enough, Aries. And the thing is, it's completion. A lot of things is completion with these four tens. And I'm really looking forward to see that for you because it's about time. Really, it is about time for you guys. Okay, so, yeah, you possibly planted the seeds a few months ago, possibly six months ago, if this is regarding love, connection, or work, or um, friendship situation, and you're just waiting for it to bear fruit, um, basically to come in fruition. Um, you're waiting for something to come in fruition. Regarding love, what does Aries need to know regarding their love life with all the open heart cards and um the fourth chakra card yes you are going to receive truth regarding a recent past situation in a love connection that you had unsurety about that you were not sure how to go next how to go forward what happened why it happened why did this person put me through this in the recent past what was the reason why 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 but the thing is you're going to receive this clarity you're going to receive this truth you're also going to receive the truth regard where are you going um regarding your new love connection your new love cycle and this is where you're heading you are heading towards stability happy home happy family um enough of everything um so yeah, I mean, Aries, wow, 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 wow. This reading is amazing for you for the month of November. Remember, I'm going to go into your love reading regarding your person. What are they on about? Um, what is going on in their life if you are currently in separation? And what are they thinking? And who is coming towards you if you are single Aries? So remember to click the link in the description box below and keep well. Um, look after yourself and thank you for tuning in. I appreciate.